<laughs> I'm Andy Yoder. Andy Yoder, okay. Yeah. And then this opportunity came along to get a studio up here in Northeast DC, here at Staples. And um, and that's been that's been amazing. So a lot of times my ideas will start by whatever materials I come into. It really just follows the idea and the opportunities that come my way. What really inspires me is making something that people connect with. But so I tend to make things that are recognizable objects, but then use some twist in them, and then introduce use that um, to uh, get them engaged with the work and introduce other ideas. Like standing back here, like yeah. from a camera perspective, I'm sure people will think they're actual real shoes, but. Andy, can you kind of go into what these actually are in, in the process of how you make these yeah. beautiful works of art? Sure. Um, these are all paper sculptures, and 90% of them are made out of things I've found in recycling bins. And so, I thought, okay, the staples will look like stitching, and, and that'll be good. And I thought, well, let's do the Jordan 5, because that was introduced the same year as the spill, 1990, gotcha. 30 years ago. But then I thought about like seeing like dozens or hundreds of these things, and I thought that is just going to be so visually boring. And also, the staples don't work very well with stitching. So then, the, luckily, I had what you might call a light bulb moment, and I thought recycle, reclaim packaging out of the dumpsters. You know, because you get the color, you get the, um, and it's it sort of echoes the same story. You know, it starts out as commodity. It gets dumped, it be, it's trash at that point, but then you pull it back out and you're making it, reconverting it into something that's, that's, that's fantastic and beautiful. And also to present a sort of a message about what our effect is as consumers on the environment without being preachy or, or wagging your finger at people. Because we all know, you know, we're not, we're not good stewards of the environment. But everybody's got message fatigue in terms of like, you know, how, what the harmful effects are. But to present it through sneakerhead culture was, was a new thing. And also it's a celebration of, of the shoes. I mean, the form of these shoes, to me, they're just like, they're spectacular as shapes. You know, I think that's part of the, the reason that, that sneaker culture is such a, is such a cool, huge phenomenon. Absolutely. It cuts across, you know, income, racial, um, geographic boundaries of all kinds. It's something that brings people together Indeed. and it's just like, it's amazing. So it makes a great vehicle for um, like other messages. How long would you say it would take you to um, manufacture? To take, to take one shoe, it, it sort of depends, but I can, it's gonna be less than a day, of course. Um, I would say anywhere from like four to seven hours. <laughs> That's from, believe it or not, Ellen DeGeneres. Really? She came out with oh, clothing uh, or shoes or I, no, I guess it was clothing, gotcha. a product line. Well, these are this is a Christmas theme, so okay. it's 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 like Christmas trees and snowflakes. So she had like a holiday, and I don't remember it was a shoe box, mm -hmm. but it was cardboard. So it was. It was either clothing or shoes. Just like the seaweed, you know, it's like it's perfect because these things were pulled out of the ocean, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they came from, you know, they came from overseas mm -hmm. where this stuff, where they, you know, where they make this stuff. This is mm -hmm. Korean, but. Roasted seaweed with green tea. Mm -hmm. And I love how you always, the, the tone of the shoe is always just so impressive too. Oh because I see what you're saying. Like, it doesn't have to have a lace. See the logo, and yeah. then boom, smacks me in my face. <laughs> and I caught that one earlier because, man, it looks, it looks like a real sneaker right there. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Some of them really do. A uh, Salvatore Ferragamo really? that um, was from a shopping bag, mm -hmm. and the laces are the handles of the shopping bag, and they embossed that paper so it has a leather-like mm -hmm. texture to it. And it really comes I, off I as a real sneaker. I bet. It's snake skin on, <laughs> on, on, you know. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. On hyped up. Indeed. I love it. So if I pick one up, like, uh, like this one. Well, this one's made out of a Lululemon bag. 
and I, I start with some paper Amazing. to bake the sole, and then I, I cut pieces out and I just piece it together. The bag I had to spray onto other pieces of paper, spray mounted, spray adhesive. But the handles of the bag are the laces. Um, Certain ones can have a little metaphor, or just like I love how you did the plain piece. Yeah, it, it like I did the, uh, uh, the Clorox one with, uh, it was right next to the uh, Corona shoe. Oh, gotcha. right? Yeah. So it was sort yeah. of, it was kind of a pun, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit of mm -hmm. like, of what we're going through now with the bleach and the, and the coronavirus. So um, you can have, you know, it's important to be able to get some laughs out of it once in a while. Indeed. <laughs> It's like, done. Yep. it's just sort of take advantage of those. It's really, really fun. But you have to pat yourself on the back there too, Andy, because, <laughs> because the way you, because you oh. just can't put that together. I mean, you can, but it's not going to look, you know, you, you put it together in a way that is to the combination piece of mm -hmm. how that flows mm. is not a mistake. Okay, it, anybody yeah. I don't can, cannot just do that <laughs> and make it work. I never thought I'd be making sneakers and I love the randomness of the way it all started out. And I love your work, big fan. Thank you. It's really fun to talk about the work mm -hmm. and share the ideas and, and I appreciate it. appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.